Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over leak code 438, find all anagrams in a string. So this one's very similar to the daily before, uh, which I did a video on, and this was um, <clears throat> permutation in a string, right? It's essentially the same problem, the only difference, it's actually the exact same problem. The only difference is instead of returning true or false, we have to return every point at which we find the anagram in the string. Now, when we say anagram, you can use this interchangeably with permutation uh, for the sake of this problem. So if you look here, I'll explain what is happening. So we basically, we have these inputs and outputs like such, and you're given the string S and you're given P and you have to return all the indices at which the anagram of P starts in S. So it kind of seems confusing. So I'll do this by example. We have an input, right? So we have A, B, C. So we step through this and we have to go through all the windows of size P. The reason why we have to do that is because we can't have an anagram if we're not at the length of P, right? So let's go through, because P's length is three, let's go through all length three windows. So we start with this one, C, B, A. Is that an anagram? Yes, it is. So result is now zero. And the reason why we put zero is because even though it's CBA, this integram starts at zero. Then we move on and we go to BAE, but keep in mind when we go to the next window, we have to remove C from our character frequency. Uh, Cause normally you do anagrams like two ways. You count the character's frequency or you can uh, sort them and check if they're equal. Uh, BAE, is that an anagram? No, it's not. Okay, we go to AEB, is that an anagram? No, it's not. Then we go to EBA, is that an anagram? No, it's not. Then we go to BAB, is that an anagram? No, it's not. Then we go to ABA, anagram? Nope. Then we go to BAC, is that an anagram? Yes, it is. Where did that start? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it started at six, and you'll see that's actually the answer. So that's really all you do. So we'll need two things. The very first thing we'll need is the result, right? And that's just going to be an empty list. And we know that we're going to return it at the end. Okay. And then what will we need next? We need like a way to count the character frequencies. I normally call this balance when we're doing anagram stuff. The reason being is because Normally what you do to check if something's an anagram is you want all the character counts to be balanced. So if two strings are an anagram of each other, one string you will subtract, the other string you will add. And then at the end, they should all the character frequencies should be zero because they'll have exactly the same amount of characters, right? So we'll do balance. And the first thing we can do, so we're trying to check if P is an S. So we can, because P is fixed, um, P is the fixed part of the equation here. We can just fill balance with P. So we'll go for final character C in P dot car array. Let's just take all these C minus A minus minus. And I say this in every video, but just in case you don't know, um, we can do C minus A because each of these are characters. So this is just a tricky way to get this to an integer, right? Because A minus A is just zero and 26 here represents all 26 lowercase characters. So it's just a crafty way to count them. Um, and we were allowed to do this because if we look at the constraint, we know it only contains lowercase English characters. If it was all ASCII characters, you could just make this 256, right? Or however many um, ASCII characters there are. So anyways, so we have this now. So. This is the fixed part of the equation. Now we want to walk through every window of S that is of the same length. And then another edge case we can do immediately. Um, I'm not even sure if this is possible, but if P is ever bigger than S, we know that we'll just return an empty list, right? Um, and we can actually do that below this. So if P dot length is ever greater than S dot length, let's just return result immediately. Let's stop, just stop the problem because at this point we just want to return an empty list. It's impossible, we can't find anything. Okay, so we've got this. Now the next thing, the next task is to do what we are doing on paper there. And we want to go through all the windows of S of the length P. So to do that, it's nothing too crazy. We just need to find the 
um, this will be the end of the window, right? Which can just be an I. And we'll go through s.length as normal, like such, just a normal for loop through s. And then the next thing we want to do here at every point, no matter what, is we want to count the character at s. So we can do that by going s dot car at end, because this will be the end pointer, right? Minus a, same thing as above, but instead of minus minus, let's go plus plus. The reason why we did minus minus here, and we're doing plus plus here, is because we want them to be balanced. So p we will take away, and then when we're going through s, we'll add them. So uh, you should imagine if we ever get an anagram, they should all be zero, all the characters should be zero. Okay. Cool. So the very last thing we need to take care of is when we're stepping through this string, it's this case, right? We step through this string and we get to E. So let's say we're checking this window right here, uh, bay right there. Um, so we're done with C, but we would have counted C in our character frequency. We don't want that. So we want to remove the C we counted. And how we do that is very easy because at this point we'll be at E, right? So we'll just look back the length of p plus 1 and remove whatever character is there, um, but only if we're over it. So at this point, what we can do is if end is greater than, uh, what do you call this? If end is greater than um, p dot length, so if we've already gone past p, uh, and actually you want to go greater than or equal to because that'll be... Um, we're zero indexed here. So if we're greater than or equal to that, and we don't need all this, uh, we can go ahead and remove this character. So we can go balance, and then we would go s dot car at, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do there later, but we know that we're gonna subtract it because we're done with it. And which character are we looking for? So we're looking for, so we're at E at this point in this case, and we want to remove C because we're done with it. So we actually want to remove the length of P uh, minus one, right? Uh, because if we are currently at zero, one, two, three, and the length is three, then we go three minus three. So S dot length minus end. Uh, and then we do it like that, and then that's just how we get rid of it. And then at this point, we need to check if we're balanced, because if the balance is balanced, and by balance I just mean everything is zero, then we found an anagram. This window is an anagram. And how you can do that is I'm just gonna do it the simple way, which is arrays.stream of balance dot all match uh, b b equals zero. And then if that's the case, we can just simply um, add to our result here. So then what are we adding? And then not to be clear, uh, not to be confused here, this is just a way of saying, hey, is every element in balance zero? And I'll show a way you can rewrite this later. Um, but this is just using Java 8 streams. Um, so result.add, we want to add where this started. So when did it start? Well, it's end minus the p dot length. I believe so, right? Okay, so if we are at CBA, P dot length, we are at two, two minus, and actually you want to go plus one here. Um, because if you check it th out this example, we'll be on two, and then we'll go two minus three, that'll be negative one, and we want this actually. Okay, so I think that this is good. Um, and then I'll talk about a few things here. Okay, so we got zero, five, this one worked for 0, 1, 2. Um, what did we do wrong here? Okay, let's think. So we got this, and then I, I believe it's something with the remove that we're doing wrong. So s.length minus end. Um, actually, we don't want this. Okay, we're being dumb here. Um, it's actually end minus p.length. And the reason being is because we so uh, going back to this example right um i don't even know why i put the other one so going at this example here so if we're at b a e we would be at three and then three minus three would be zero and we want to remove the c here so let's go ahead and run this and then now we're good and let's just try to submit it and let's see if it works looks like it works that's pretty good it beats 36 that's all right um probably because the stream uh, streams can be a little bit slower sometimes 
So first thing I'll talk about is you might be thinking, this looks like some hack. Can I use this in an interview? I'm not sure. I just like it because it's a one line, but it's, you know, they're always using this uh, Java 8 streams. But a way to do this very simply is you could just do a for loop through B and then check if every element is zero, right? That's all it is. Um, this is similar to every in JavaScript and also all in Python. So kind of like every language has these predicates, these maps, these reduces, uh, Java has them too uh, in Java streams. So yeah, let's talk about time and space here. Um, so it can be complicated to calculate time and space. So the easy one that we can think of is going to be constant space. The reason being is the only thing we're really storing besides the result, which usually doesn't matter, is we're storing the balance itself, which is only 26 characters, it's constant. And so it's constant space. The next thing, which is kind of more difficult, so we have to kind of step through and figure out what the time complexity is. This is just an if statement. This is just going through C, which C is, um, oh, sorry, this is just going through P. P is guaranteed to be less than S. So this is worst case O of N. Um, so we go over to this for loop. This is just going through, so actually to make this clear, let's figure this out. So this is O of N time. We know this topmost part is O of N time because we're just going through S. Um, so we go over here like this. This is just a regular decrement operation. It's just constant time. And then this arrays.stream.allmatch loop. This is worst case going through O of 26, which is just constant time. It's fixed. And this is because balance represents every character, right? So at the end of the day, it this whole time uh, comes out to be O of 2n, which is just O of n. So yeah, hope this helped. Thank you for watching.